2018, um, I went on a cross country tour uh, with, uh, with my now ex-wife, uh, my fiance then, uh, and I got attacked by a rooster in Des Moines, Iowa. Here's what happened. It was the tail end of this four month tour, right? And uh, we decided that we had a little, little time off. We had a day off in between some of our shows. So we're gonna take a, a nice, um, nice day for ourselves, right? We're gonna take these two days for ourselves. We're gonna get an Airbnb and we're gonna splurge like 25 bucks to get this Airbnb uh, and have like a night to ourselves. You know, we're gonna like order some, you know, like comfort food and shit. And we were, we were super excited. So I let her helm the task of finding an Airbnb uh, in the Des Moines area. And we found one. And she was like, look how cool this place is. It's like kind of outside Des Moines. It's about 20, 30 minutes outside Des Moines. But look, this lady says that she kind of lives on this farmland. And to differentiate from all these other farms, she has these two giant iron roosters uh, in the farm. And I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. Let's, yeah, it sounds fun. Let's, let's stay there. So we show up and lo and behold, there they were. There were these two giant, you know, iron roosters sitting there and they pull into the driveway and we get out of the car and immediately we're just like surrounded by like 15 chickens, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we were just like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> like, what is this? Uh, and then from behind us, we hear a voice go, don't worry about them they just think you have food. And we turn around and it's like this 12 year old kid, right? Like 12, maybe 13, this preteen is, is standing on the patio of this house. And, uh, and he goes, yeah, they're kind of dumb. Like once they kind of figure out you don't have food, they'll just leave you alone. And I was like, well, that's great. And he goes, uh, he goes I'm here to welcome you. And I was like, oh, okay, man, that's cool. Like, thanks for, thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging out with us and stuff. Uh, and off in the distance, about 25 feet away or so, we see just this huge black rooster pacing back and forth, right? He's like super pissed off that we're even there. And I turn to him and I go, hey man, what's up with that guy? <laughs> and he goes, well, that's the rooster. He's kind of a dick. He's, he's a little... <laughs> <laughs> right. He was like, he always attacks me when I'm trying to feed the chickens. Like, he's kind of an asshole. You should just stay away from him. And I was like, duly noted. Thanks for the tip, young fella. And we walked in, right? We walked into the house. We grabbed our stuff and we go in. And uh, he shows us around. Like, he takes us on this little mini tour. Uh, and we like grab some food. And we're like, all right, dude, like, thanks for the tour. We're going to go upstairs and like, you know, kind of have a night in. This is our night off. And yeah, he kind of, he was, he was pretty cool. He was like a cool little fucking like preteen kid. Like a, it was, it was great. So, you know, we went upstairs and then we just vegged out for the night. We just watched some Netflix and fell asleep. We, there was a jacuzzi. We were pretty excited to use the jacuzzi the next day. Um, so we get up and we do our regular like morning stuff, right? We get our coffee, we make our breakfast. We hang out with this preteen who finds out that I'm a comedian and then makes it his mission to like show me all his favorite YouTubers that he thinks are hilarious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which I, I gotta say, uh, that whole genre is all bullshit. <laughs> it's like, I know I sound jaded and I am jaded, <laughs> but <laughs> like, it's a little bullshit because I watched this, I watched a 14 minute video with this kid and literally the whole video is just one guy where he like makes a couple of faces at the camera and then a couple of sound effects and, and like makes prank phone calls to, to pizza shops. And I have never seen a child fall on the ground and lose all of the air from his lungs from laughing that hard. <laughs> and I'm watching this kid and I was like, do you understand how long I spend like crafting the perfect fucking joke, like getting the <laughs> phrasing right, you know, putting the proper amount of poetry and my heart and my <laughs> love. And this guy fucking made a fart noise into a camera and this kid is almost dead. Like this is... <laughs> 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 
16 million views on YouTube, you guys. Like, this is, so I, I'm like kind of disgruntled. And then, you know, my fiance was like, hey, we got to like make lunch and get our work done so we can, you know, like get jacuzzi time in and then go to the show. And I was like, yep, you're right, you're right. So I went out to, um, to grab some clothes out of my car, right? Because when you tour, you kind of have to pack condensed when you come into people's homes. I live out of a suitcase for the most part. Uh, so I can't like take this giant suitcase into people's homes. So I have like a little little inside bag that I take, right? So I usually go and grab my clothes the day of, um, just so I'm not carrying a bunch of bullshit into people's houses. And uh, so that's what I did. I went out to the car to grab uh, to grab some clothes, and I walk out, and off in the distance, who do I see but this goddamn rooster, right? And he looks at me, and I look at him, and I was like, hey man. I'm just here to get my clothes, all right? I don't want any trouble. Look, I don't have any weapons. You know, I come in peace. I'm a pacifist. I don't know if that means anything to you. you know, because you guys know how, like, roosters understand English. Like, they're very good. <laughs> like, they're really good at the Queen's English. Like, you guys know. <laughs> We've all seen the David Attenborough documentary about roosters. Right? <laughs> so... This bird starts pacing like frantically back and forth as I'm walking towards my car. I pop open the trunk and I'm going in to grab my clothes. And then all of a sudden I just hear, foo, 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 foo. and I turn around and this rooster has now charged at me and like half the distance between me and him. And I was just like, hey, come on, dude. Like, I'm not, I'm just trying to get these clothes. I don't give a shit about your chickens. You know, like I'm practically a vegetarian. <laughs> Like, this is, I don't care. Just, let's just be cool. Let's just be cool, right? And I turn around, and then I hear it again. Just, poop, 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 poop. And then I turn around, and this rooster is now at my feet, lunging to peck at my feet. And I just panicked. <laughs> yeah, I just lost it. I was just like, oh, shit. And I, like, air kicked at it. And I hopped backwards. And then it charged at me again. And I, I like, freaked out. And I tried to kick at the rooster. But then... <gasps> I was freaking out too much, so I missed. And so now it like thinks that I attacked it. So it just starts charging at me. And I panicked and I started screaming in this driveway <laughs> in a farm in Iowa. <laughs> right. And I just bolted. I just bolted for the house and I ran into the kitchen. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> and my fiance looks at me and she was like, hey. Where are your oh, clothes? No. <laughs> and I go, the fucking bird. I got attacked. <laughs> <laughs> this goddamn bird, it came for my eyes. It had a crazy look. It wants my eyes. The goddamn bird attacked me. It attacked me. And I'm just losing it. And she was like, what are you talking about? Right? I was like, the bird wants my eyes. The rooster, he was out there and he attacked me. Well, I was trying to get my clothes. I told him I was a pacifist. He didn't care. He wants my eyes. He wants my eyes. <laughs> and she was just like, honey, it's a bird. Did you, like, kick it? I'm sure it'll go away if you swat at it. It's, it's like, just do it. It's a bird. Just go out there. Grab your stuff. We're missing jacuzzi time. Right? And I was just like, there's no fucking way I'm going back out there. Okay? That bird knows. It wants my eyes, and now it knows I'm scared of it. So now it's just gonna be like <laughs> way more. Aggressive. All right, and she looks at me. And she goes, "It's a bird." And I was like, "It is not a bird. It is a small, <laughs> tiny dinosaur. <laughs> it is a tiny little dinosaur, and it knows. It remembers. It remembers. It used to be huge, and it used to rule this planet. And now a bunch of dumb, hairless apes are just walking around." You know, this just destroying the planet. That's what we do. And, and, and it knows and it wants the planet back. And it's going to take it back by force. It's not just the bird, right? <laughs> this is losing my mind, right? And so she goes, fine, I'll go get your clothes. So she goes in and she grabs a broom. She puts her boots on and she goes out. So I like peer out around the corner uh, off the patio to see what she's doing. And as... It happened to me. This fucking rooster charges at her and she turns around and just swats it with the broom and the rooster falls over and she's like, all right, cool. I got it. <laughs> I'm watching you though, but I got it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
And she grabs my clothes and she comes back in and I'm still like freaked out and panicking. So I do what I normally do when I start freaking out and panicking, uh, which is I looked up all of the information that I possibly could about roosters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And basically, guys, what I found out is they're like just giant dicks. That's all they are. Like, there's a reason why they're called cocks. You know what I mean? Like, they're, <laughs> they suck. <laughs> like, their whole being is only to fertilize eggs. Like, chickens don't even need them to make eggs. They just make eggs, right? They're only there to, like, kind of get their species moving forward. That's it. That's all they're there for. They're just there for, like, procreation. They serve no other real purpose, right? They, like, the, the rooster is basically, like, the bird equivalent of everybody that peaked in high school. You know? <laughs> like they used to be really cool like at one point i'm sure like the rooster had like a lot more to do and then now it's just like i guess they just want me for my cum that's it that's all i am it's just <laughs> that's all it is <laughs> you know? and then here's the other thing is when they're teenagers in uh, when they're like going through puberty roosters get these talons these hooks on their legs and then they'll like jump up and swipe at at uh, at, at people so it, it there's a good chance that it was coming from my eyes <laughs> <laughs> this is very validated by that piece of information <laughs> so you know we she my my fiance tries to calm me down we go into the jacuzzi uh and then we get ready you know for the show it was a late show it was a 10 p.m show and uh we're, we're we go outside the sun had set it was dark which is a rooster's weakness, darkness. <laughs> it's like the opposite of a vampire. <laughs> so we go and we do the show and we come back. It's like one o'clock when we come back. We're getting ready for bed. And I lay my head down on the pillow and this, it, this thing just hits, it hits my head. It was just like, holy shit, we're gonna have to deal with the rooster tomorrow. And we're not gonna leave till like noon. And that's when its power is at the highest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, high noon it draws its power from the sun i know i know how roosters work and I, it, it's like the dead of night all the lights are turned off and i just turned to my fiance and i was just like hey we gotta come up with a plan <laughs> about what we're gonna do about this rooster and she was like it's fine you come up with a plan i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> right so i came up with a plan so the next day uh, we get up, we grab our coffee, we eat our breakfast, we're getting ready to, to, to leave. And I was like, all right, here's the plan. We're going to grab our stuff, right? I got the food bag and the laptops and you got your guitar and your clothes bag and your backpack. I'm going to jump kick the patio gate and, I'm gonna, and we're going to run to the car. It's already going to be unlocked. We throw all of our stuff in the back. Don't worry about organizing it. I'll slide up off the hood of the car into the front seat, in the driver's seat. Once we're both in, <laughs> peel out of it. We'll just get the fuck out of there. And she was like, sure, that sounds great. <laughs> so I went to execute the plan and I jump kicked the gate. It was locked. So I had to put the bags down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unlock the gate, open it very gently. And then I got my bags and I bolted to the car. I threw all my stuff in. I ran around the hood. I got into the car and I turned around and my fiance was nowhere to be seen. She was sauntering down the driveway when there is a killer bird on the loose. It was just like, this is, this is every horror movie. Is This is every horror movie. And then she comes in and starts reorganizing the back of the car. And, and then she was like, I got to clear it up so that it's not disorganized. And I was like, the bird, it, it, it's going to come out. And she's like, it's fine. I contacted the lady. She said that she's going to put like extra food out or something. And so I freaked and she was like, look, I brought the broom. Do you want to be my big, big rooster protector? Huh? Do you... <laughs> and I understand that she was patronizing me, but I uh, took that job very seriously, you guys. <laughs> Got out of the car, <laughs> grabbed the broom, and I was like, I watched that rooster. I was looking for that rooster, and finally, finally, I, I saw him, and he saw me. We made, you know, we made eye contact, and me and that <laughs> rooster, we saw each other. <laughs> I was just like, all right, rooster. All right. What do you want? It's me and you, you know, it's me and you let's do this thing. 
you know? And I, and I looked at him and I was like, I had to come uh, and be okay with the fact that today uh, I might have to murder a bird <laughs> with a broom. <laughs> and was I prepared for that? I don't know. I don't know if I was prepared for that, but if it came down to it, I had to do it. And then, and then, you know, I have to live with that. And then I have to go and talk to these chickens. You know, what am I going to tell these chickens? You know, just like, look, I get it. I know he was kind of a dick. He was always mean. Just walked around. Did he ever ask you about your feelings? You know, did he, <laughs> did he ask you about your day? I don't think he's going to be missed. You know, I think he needs to, I, he should have seen a therapist. He, how was his father? What was his father like? Were there issues? Were there issues with his dad? You know? So finally, like she grabbed her stuff and, uh, and I sat back in the car and she got out of the car and we, I peeled out. Like I fucking booked it out of there as soon as possible, right? Like I'm panicked. I'm sweating all over the place. And, uh, and finally she looks at me and she goes, hey, like, what happened there? Like, what was that situation all about? And I was like, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I legitimately like, didn't know, right? Like, I didn't really have an answer for her at that point. And she looked at me and she was like, well, we got to figure that out. And I sat there and I talk, thought about it. I've thought about it for a while. And I think the only conclusion that I've come up with, the only hypothesis that I have is that this is, this is like a real visceral fight or flight response, right? Like this is like a real deep down, like primal urge. Like this is, this is my ancestors at one point saw like a real giant bird and there were a bunch of people in the <laughs> tribe <laughs> that were like, we're gonna fucking kill that bird. And my answers were like, I'm out. And then just ran like they, they <laughs> like, like, the only conclusion I could come up with is like, I'm not a fight person. I'm 100% a flight person. Like I will, I will run like once you guys kill the bird, we'll, I'll cook it. I know how to use these spices we found. Like I'm neither a hunter nor a gatherer. I'm more like a cook. I'm like a chef. I'm like a, <laughs> <clears throat> when it comes down to the apocalypse and there's like tribes that need hunters and gatherers, look, we're going to have to find people to cook whatever we find, you know? And that's me. That's, I'm that guy. I'm the guy that's going to be like, I'm in a plan. <laughs> we're going to jump kick a gate, <laughs> you know, like that's who I am. Sure. <laughs> and I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? If you enjoyed this video, there is more stuff like this coming on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to make sure you're getting updates about my videos. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, cause I think there's a dislike campaign happening on the channel. There's like one person that's just disliking all my shit. That's weird. Uh, but, uh, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the share button, get the word out about this channel. Uh, and there are going to be more videos like this. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to be a part of the live comedy experience in this virtual world that we're living in now, uh, where, uh, where all the performance art is going virtual uh, for the time being, you can join my Zoom live stand-up comedy shows. It's called the Citizen Revolution Comedy Show. Uh, the first one is on May 8th, uh, and they will be consecutively every other week. All of the dates are available on my website right now, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Go grab your tickets right now. They're only five bucks. Five bucks gets you in, um, and it's five bucks per residence, not five bucks per person. Uh, it's just to grab you a spot. Uh, so go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Grab your ticket. Come hang out with me. Uh, if you can, you can become a sustaining member over on the website. Sustaining members get free tickets uh, to come see the Zoom virtual Citizen Revolution comedy show. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well. Uh, but all of this stuff helps keep me afloat, uh, keeps me uh, being able to put food on the table uh, and cover all of my bills and expenses uh, to make sure that I'm putting out regular content. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Hope to see you again. Stay safe.